take care of your bill. And we can help you too with a great deal on a reliable, award-winning Honda. Right now, you can lease the 2024 HRV Alex for just $269 a month plus tax, or lease the 2024 Accord Alex for just $249 a month plus tax. Today, Drew and I are going to put your lumpy old mattress under the microscope. Because after eight years, your old mattress becomes the perfect breeding ground for these little guys. Dust mites. Uh, hey, I was sleeping here. Yuck. So check your mattress tag. If it's over eight, it's time to replace. Come in today and save up to 50% off a fresh, comfortable new mattress. Since sleep will beat anyone's advertised price or your mattress is free. You're killing me, Larry. Turn back the years with Pore More Climate Smart Skin Care, a patented formula developed to help rejuvenate the skin without chemical peels or laser treatments. Medical research has proven that the climate ages your skin, and the breakthrough formulas of Pore More not only can prevent, but even reverse the signs of aging. Order Pore More now for only $79 using our special coupon code LA79. Also get free shipping and 100% money back guarantee. Boy, look at that Carl's Jr. burger. Bacon, jalapenos, beef, cheese, bacon, beef. Five dollars on the app? What? Another burger? Lettuce, cheese, melty, delicious pickle. You gotta be kidding. Barbecue soft drip, crunchy onion rings. Five dollars? I'm burger rich. Need burger? Get burger. Yeah! We begin the 8 o'clock hour of the KTLA 5 Morning News with the breaking news. O.J. Simpson has died. He was one of the most polarizing figures in Southern California history after the former football star was charged and then acquitted of murder. Simpson died of cancer. His family just posting this on X, saying on April 10th, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family asked that you please respect their wishes and privacy and grace. KTLA's Rick Chambers has a look back at Simpson's life and his former football career to the courtroom as well. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. It was the trial of the century. O.J. Simpson, the star football player and Hollywood actor, accused of savagely murdering his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ron Goldman. An estimated 150 million people watched the verdict come in live. The trial was broadcast in classrooms, at workplaces, and even on The Oprah Winfrey Show where audience members both cheered and cried as he was acquitted. Emotions usually falling along racial lines. A, a upon Simpson. Before the trial, Simpson was a popular actor, starring in Naked Gun movies. He gained fame in college, though, winning the Heisman Trophy while playing football for USC. Nicknamed the Juice, he went on to the NFL and shattered both rushing and touchdown records as a member of the Buffalo Bills. All that changed, though, on June 12th of 1994, as Brown and Goldman's bodies were found outside her L.A. condo. Simpson was an immediate suspect, and five days later, he was ordered to surrender to police. Instead, he led them on a slow-speed chase down the 5 freeway to the 405 in that now infamous white Ford Bronco. His friend and former NFL player A.C. Cowlings behind the wheel. That evening, he surrendered at his Brentwood mansion. The trial began in 1995 with an all-star lineup of lawyers, nicknamed the Dream Team. One by one, they dismantled the state's evidence, claiming systematic racism and sloppy police work. The defining moment came when Simpson tried on gloves that were left at the murder scene. He struggled to put them on, and his lawyers used that in closing arguments to show it couldn't possibly be him. Remember these words. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Shortly after Simpson was found not guilty, he went to trial again for the murders, but this time in civil court. He was found liable for Brown and Goldman's deaths there and ordered to pay more than $30 million in damages. Almost a decade later, Simpson wrote a book called If I Did It and hypothesized how he would have committed the murders. The book and subsequent interview on Fox went into great detail, 
and many considered it to be Simpson's confession. I don't think any two people could be um, murdered the way they were without everybody being covered in blood. While Simpson never served time for murder, he did go to prison in 2008 for armed robbery and kidnapping in Las Vegas. Simpson claimed that he was simply taking back sports memorabilia that was his. However, he spent almost 10 years behind bars. 14 million people tuned in as he was granted parole in 2017 at the age of 70. To grant parole, and that will this Thank you. Thank you. O.J. Simpson, a larger-than-life figure whose life and alleged crimes captivated an entire nation. That was Rick Chambers reporting. We will continue our coverage on the death of O.J. Simpson throughout the morning. Right now, new details about the woman who went on a double murder spree before crashing into a tree in Redondo Beach. In the days before she killed her boyfriend and threw her two children from her moving car, she posted chilling messages online. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos live in Windlet Hills now with the latest. Annie Rose, good morning. Hey, Jess, good morning. Chilling messages indeed. But before we get to that, the police calling this a double murder suicide. Last Monday, Danielle Johnson stabbing her partner to death right here in the apartment complex you see behind me, then shoving her children out of a moving car, killing her baby girl, and then ultimately killing herself. Well, this morning, we are learning more details about what may have led this local mother to do these unspeakable crimes. I think I feel good. I feel like, you know, my blood pressure is good. You know, I'm in my 30s now. I got to worry about things like that. With the moon, you know, the moon controls the tide. The moon controls people's emotions. Like when there's a full moon, there's higher crime rates. There's more births. Um, eclipses, there's more births. There's more deaths. That was the 34-year-old just a couple months ago calling herself an astrology influencer with over 100,000 followers on the social media platform X, her website offering a variety of services like Zodiac Healing. She went on to college and studied psychology, but we're learning just how worried she was about Monday's eclipse. Days before her death, she began warning followers about its dangers. Take a look at this. This is one post where she said, free eclipse protection candle for your mind and body. This will be active for the eclipse window. And in another post, she wrote, wake up, wake up. The apocalypse is here. Everyone who has ears, listen. Your time to choose what to believe is now. What you would think of first is that this woman thought that the end times were coming with the eclipse. And so she wanted to protect her family from what horrors would come. And so she killed them. However, um, this is not how you would kill your family if you were trying to protect them. It was so brutal. All right, hours before the eclipse, early Monday around 4 a.m., Danielle Johnson stabbed her partner to death in their apartment, then shoved her two daughters out of her moving car onto the 405 freeway, killing her eight-month-old baby girl and injuring her nine-year-old daughter. Eventually, Johnson slamming her car into a tree at over 100 miles per hour in Redondo Beach. That crash killing her. And the only eyewitness to, to these horrific crimes is her daughter, who survived. Knowing that that poor child saw what she had to see and experienced what she had to experience on the side of the freeway and, you know, losing her mother the way she's now lost her mother and probably the last memory she have of her mother is not going to be great. And uh, I, I just can't. That, that is going to haunt me forever. Now, we have since reached out to the LAPD, who is not commenting on a possible motive in this case as their investigation continues. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Okay, Annie Rose, thank you for that. This morning, the LAPD stepping up patrols near the Venice Canals after two violent attacks on women there. Surveillance video from a neighbor's home shows a possible suspect. The man is wearing gray sweatpants and a yellow jacket. The image is being posted to social media and neighborhood watch sites. Police have not officially released surveillance video or identified a suspect. The attacks took place last Saturday night near the Grand and Sherman Canals. Police are not giving details about the victim's conditions. Officers say they did suffer significant injuries. Dozens of United Airlines flight attendants are expected to picket outside of LAX airport today as they demand uh, better pay. Here's a live look uh, at LAX right now. The uh, flight attendants will be outside of Terminal 1 starting at 1130 this morning. The picketing comes 
as the airline's executives received double-digit compensation increases last year. The CEO's pay alone increased by 90 percent. While negotiations continue this week, workers call for the corporation to deliver a fair labor contract. Today, the Japanese Prime Minister is addressing a joint meeting of Congress. His state visit comes as the U.S. tries to strengthen its partnership in Asia to combat China and North Korea. KTLA's Trevor Shirley live now in Washington, D.C. with more on that for us. Trevor, good morning. Jess, good morning to you as well. As part of this trip, the U.S. and Japan are also announcing a new defense partnership between those two countries and other Asia-Pacific allies. The uh, Japanese Prime Minister is at the uh, Capitol right now getting ready to address that joint meeting of Congress. He's already met with top congressional leadership today. Already, the U.S. and Japan have announced the launch of a new military-industrial council aimed at coordinating...